I'm just hoping that I don't have to go through the same thing I went through in uh, for Katrina, through this tornado thing. And I just want to put my house back together, go back to living a normal life. I mean, it, it hurts to see this, but it is what it is. Ain't nothing you can do to smudge nature. From there, his name is Sean. He actually lives in an apartment complex called the Tall Pines. It's just saw extensive damage. I mean, the roof was torn off uh, in some of those spots, car windows completely blown out. So that just goes to show you the extent of the damage that we're seeing all across uh, parts of Slidell. Again, why many people here, Brandon, are here for a hot meal because many of them are still without electricity today. Yeah, in fact, the gentleman you spoke to, Sean said that he spent the night there on his kitchen for with no power. That speaks to the need that you have here. Again, as we said, some 500 lunches issued today. They expect to do the same for dinner tonight here at this volunteer effort. They're also working to bring in water and whatnot, too. But to get a right now, we're joined live by Slidell's Mayor Greg Cromer. Sir, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. First, just tell us where things stand right now. Well, you know, we've got, uh, this is the first relief efforts that we received from outside uh, the, the city government uh, and parish government. Um, Southern Baptist Convention Food uh, Ministry here, they're f serving 500 meals here at lunchtime. They're going to do 500 more at, uh, at about 5.30 this evening for, for dinner. We've got, we had tarps. Um, we're out of tarps. We, uh, we, we gave out 200 tarps last night. We gave out 200 tarps uh, this morning. I just got word from the parish that we should be getting more this afternoon, probably not until late, and, and we'll be doing tarps again tomorrow. Uh, ice is on its way. We've got a half a reefer of, of ice that should be here any time. It's supposed to be here at noon. We've got, I've got uh, five or six pallets of water additional. So these are the first relief supplies that we have uh, available. Um, tomorrow we're going to have uh, relief set up here as well as over on uh, at the park and ride facility on Lindbergh Drive. Uh, Convoy of Hope is coming in. They, they're going to bring uh, uh, all types of commodities, cleaning supplies, canned can goods, uh, dry, uh, dry, dry foods, things of that nature. Um, as well as some some prepared meals uh and i just got got word that lowe's is going to be here to, uh, tomorrow with 200 totes of, of uh, the totes are filled with the cleaning supplies and uh, gloves and things of that nature most certainly and that is definitely needed here mayor i know that there were uh, uh some members of of the city going around and like getting their eyes on the streets they're assessing um, how things stand what have they told you right now well we've been through uh, all of the community in, in the city limits and uh, we've got about 15 or 20 streets that are still impacted uh, and that's due to uh, trees that are down in power lines we can't go in and uh, do anything if there's power lines tangled up not that they might be energized but that's a possibility but the bigger uh, part of that is that if we go in and do something to those lines, it creates bigger problems for CLECO and slows down the process of bring, bringing the grid back up. So we, we have CLECO in uh, uh, this morning. I'm, I'm talked with, with Clico rep. I, when I leave here, I'm meeting him at uh, 1.30. Um, we're going to talk about, they've got 400 troops on the ground this morning, boots on the ground first thing. They're their assessments by noon and uh, they will start to go into our neighborhoods and start doing the, the clearing where they need to do where we can uh, where, where they can put their lines back up and as soon as they hang those lines the, the, the new poles or whatever then they can heat them up and get power back into our neighborhoods we wish we could go in and clean that stuff but if we do we could damage something and it could extend the period of time that that we have to get services back all right, very important, Mayor. Thank you so much for that update here. We do appreciate your efforts, and thank you for everything and making sure that everyone here is safe. Again, guys, it is miraculous that no lives were lost, that you're talking about very few injuries, nothing very serious to report here. And with that, the call this morning is, or this afternoon rather, is to get uh, lend that helping hand. We have partnered up with the United Way of Southeastern Louisiana. There is a QR code that we want to get here on your screen. If you would like to help, what you do is take out your phone, scan that QR code. It'll take you to the United Way of Southeastern Louisiana's website, and you can do what you want to do there to donate to so many area families in need. Back here on the ground, again, they're handing out some 500 meals. They hope to do the same thing again this evening, awaiting the arrival of more water, also more cleaning supplies. As you can see, a lot of demand here as the line to get into free Richie Park Street. We're going to send things back to you, Lily, but that is the latest from Slidell. I'm Brandon Walker, WWL Louisiana.
Brandon, thank you so much. So hard to see all those people in their homes, what they're looking like, but good to see the help that's pouring out as well. well we're